So now we come to one of the exciting bits. It's the exciting bit because um, it suddenly starts to take shape. You suddenly see what it actually is. And that's fitting in the body panels. So we've been making these body panels and now we're going to fit them on. So I've been making these body panels using two techniques. The first one we've gone through, which is the fiberglass and making moulds with them, or rather making fiberglass panels without moulds, we use that. The other one is I've got a whole lot of this stuff, which is our industrial sheet steel shelving, and I've chopped that shelving up to make various components as well. It didn't bother going through it because basically you measure up your component and saw your steel out. And here's one that I made for the cabin panel. So it's just a bench shelf, really, painted yellow. And I've drilled it out. Now, the seat I'm going to use is an office chair, a leatherette office chair. Now, I was trying to get two seats, but to be honest, if it was side by side or back to back, then it really just spoiled the look of it. It took up too much room. So all we're actually going to do is put one seat on it, and we bolt that seat onto this panel before bolting that panel in place. Seats on, cabins on, now the foot plates go in, and again these are made out of a bit of that shelving that I showed you, and they go here, and same on the other side. With the foot plates on, what we do now is add the running boards, and the running boards go on the lower part of that outrigger that we put on earlier, and they just go on there like that. We drill them and bolt them. Okay, so we've fitted the um, running boards, and I've also done the rear mud guards. This plate actually just goes here, which is going to be where the steering column comes out, and it's also going to be where the gauges are going to go on, so I won't fit that just now. But the next bit to fit are the front mud guards, and the front mud guards just go on. Like that. And we screwed them down and put a couple of Okay, so now we put all the steel on, we can put the plastic parts on. These are the parts that we made using that fiberglassing technique that I was talking about. And this is the main bulkhead between the engine compartment and the cabin. And that goes on right there. So that's on, we can put the radiator grill in place. Goes there. And then we can put that cross member on. <laughs> and that's and then the body work more or less finished. Let's have a walk around. There's still these flaps to make and put on, but I won't do that until the engine's actually in, and that's where it's going to go there. That's the actual engine compartment and battery car compartment. Still got the steering brake to put on, the brake pedal, the accelerator pedal to put on. Isn't it amazing what a few bits of painted steel and plastic will do? Now, I'm thinking of it as Bessie, but obviously it's much smaller. I mean, it's not a four-seater tourer, but then it is an old land, uh, lawnmower. Incidentally, this lawnmower is 40 years old, so don't throw anything away, I think, is the moral of this story. Anyway, I hope you're enjoying the video series so far, and thank you very much for watching.